Coming to you from the Kelly Family Field on the campus of Archbishop Spalding High School, located in Severn, Maryland, welcome to the MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Today's game features the visiting Coward Hall Cardinals coming in at 5-2 and two in conference play, taking on the host Cavaliers, currently 2-5 and five in MIAA conference action. Hello everyone, I'm Don Zimmerman, joined by John Lehman, coach, a longtime standing coach and a prominent figure in the Anne Arundel County lacrosse community. And we'll be bringing you all the action in today's A Conference matchup. John, welcome. Tell us first about the Cardinals from Calvert Hall. Thanks, Coach. Well, the Cardinals come in with a lot of experience. A team that can fill the goal up. They've got a lot of power. They've got a lot of guys that can finish the ball. They've got two great face-off men, and that's always an important part of the game. They got we'll bring out Strickland and Cuomo at the X, and that'll be exciting to watch those guys play. How about the Cavaliers from Archbishop Spalding? The Cavaliers are going to be a little bit young. They're, they're a younger team. They're going to be playing a lot of sophomores today. After graduating 15 seniors last year, they're kind of regrouping, but they're doing a great job. And as Coach Phipps says, they're learning every day. We'll be back with the opening face-off. The MIAA Lacrosse Championships and the MIAA Game of the Week is presented by Kelly Benefits, the official insurance provider of the MIAA Championships and brought to you by CFG Bank, the official community bank of the MIAA. LIDS, the official headwear of MIAA Championships. Baltimore Lacrosse Club, Baltimore Crabs, locally grown, nationally known. And Toyota, let's go places. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor for the 2023 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Welcome back. Don Zimmerman alongside John Lehman bringing you all the action to today's MIAA -A -A conference matchup between the Archbishop Spalding Cavaliers and the Calvert Hall Cardinals. Coach? Zim, it's going to be interesting here. In, a, in the pregame, I got a chance to, to, to touch base with Brian Kelly and you know we talked about the faceoff being such a big big part of this game as Chriswell uh, is hurt for Spalding their faceoff guy and I just talked to Brian Kelly and his top faceoff guy Strickland is injured so we're going to see Cuomo on the X for the uh, for the Cardinals and uh, we'll see what uh, coach coach Phipps throws out there against him yeah in our uh, conference call earlier in the week talking to both coaches uh, they they stress the uh, importance of the face-off. And obviously, if you follow the game of lacrosse, the face-off is such an important position. So both teams kind of uh, handicapped here with uh, missing one of their better face-off men. But, you know, that's that's lacrosse, and, and somebody's got to step up and, and do the job. Expect Spalding to throw uh, a committee at, uh, at Calvert Hall because, um, you know, this is a game, obviously, that they need to win in order to uh, continue in the race to, to make the tournament. But here we go. Opening whistle. Ben Cuomo, he's, uh, he's a sophomore. 55% face-off. That's a good, uh, a good number for getting the draw for your team. Getting some experience there. So let's see what they, how the Cardinals set up with their first time down. On the, on the offense, they've got a lot of guys that can finish the ball. They sure do. 
A lot of offensive firepower. They run two solid midfields or attack. It's just solid from uh, from one end of the field to the other. And and they're veterans. A little give and go right from the start. Just wide. That was wide hot on here. There's a guy that can certainly fill it up. He's got 23 goals already this season. Leads a team with those 23 goals. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Going down the alley on the far, on the far side there. That's Duggan. Duggan ball down nice there. shot nice that shot. time. That was Suey Kelly. All right behind the goal. Backed up by Nick Steele brings it in. Here we go. There's Hoddle again. Nice shot. Hoddle lets it fly. That was a shot clock reset. 50 seconds now. Still plenty of time to go to work. Steele, he's just back, uh, recovered from a knee surgery. Last uh, week, he, he got back on the field for the first time against Boys Latin, had two goals. Successful clear this time by Spalding. They'll settle down. They'll go to work for the first time on offense. Let's see how that goes, Sam. They tend to go down the alleys. Go down the alleys and either throw behind or throw back. That was Wolf with the ball. He'll take it on the wing. Being played by Donovan Lewis. He's a senior. All MIA football receiver, and he's headed to Delaware to play football. For you young players who are out watching today, it's great to play other sports. Don't be a one-sport player. Play different sports. Lacrosse is a hybrid game. Play football. It's going to make you a better lacrosse player. Here we go. Controlling the ball behind the goal. 22 seconds left on the shot clock. Good skip pass behind. That's Howard. Out front. Jack Newell, the sophomore, leads the point, uh, team in points with 27. Four extra man goals. Watch for him on the man up situations. Joey Mutasa. Short clock. Here's him. Short clock. And that's going to probably expire here as that ball goes out of bounds. Yep. Kevin Hall's ball in the... Anyhow, so reset the shot clock to 80. Anytime the ball is exchanged, changed possession, it's a fresh 80. The MIAA is one of the few leagues in the country that uses the NCAA rules. 80-second shot clock. You have 20 seconds to get the ball on your offensive end. Once it's there, it must stay there. Any shot that hits the goalkeeper or the pipe, it's a reset to 60. All right, here we go. Nice take, nice take that time by Noah Brannick. He's a senior, another football player, all Metro, all MIAA, going to William & Mary to play football. Big, strong athlete. Cody Collier behind the goal. Out front to Shuey Kelly. Inside, oh, nice look. Good ground ball by Ryan Botek. And there's a finish. There's a finish, and it, it's Hoddle there. That was a nice ground ball, and that ground ball is the name of the game. There's Botek on that ground ball. Gives the ball up, and Hoddle standing right on the crease. That was a, I'll tell you, he was covered pretty tightly there, and they squeezed it in there, Zim. Well, you know, that it all starts with that ground ball. Ground balls are everything, and uh, Botek did a nice job that time getting covered Hall that second chance opportunity, and they cashed in. One nothing, Calvert Hall. Eight fifty left in the first quarter. Ground ball battle. Nice ground ball that time by Jermaine Anderson, just a sophomore, and a, and a real nice job. Continue to ride by Robbie Hopper, Hopper there to get the turnover. Okay, here we go. Cavaliers back on offense. This is Brady Mollett. Right, he likes this matchup. That's Noah Brannick again on defense. Good look inside. Alec Howard keeps it alive. Out front to Connor Wilbur. Leads the team in assist with 11. Oh, nice shot and a really nice save and a rebound goal. That's Alec Howard on the rebound goal after a real nice save by Alex Swartz. What a ties this game one to one. This job there is Pogness on the crease with a great shot and a, and a great great save by the goalie and Howard right there standing for the rebound. 
Good alert play by Alec Howard. He's a junior. He'll be going to UMBC after he graduates. 1-1-8-0-9 in the first period. Good face-off battle here. Gordon Griffith is facing off for the Cavaliers. Cody Kyer with the ground ball. Great job here as Donovan brings the ball in, switching up the midfield. Here comes Hoddle coming out off the uh, out of the box. On this face-off, Sam, they're doing a great job. I think Spalding, you know, getting the ball and, and and getting it on the ground and fighting for it. Nice stop. It's good save by Jacob Newman, the sophomore. Successful clear by Spalding. This is Jameson Kaufman. Football tight end, MIAA champs. Ben Duffy with the ball. He'll be going to Vermont. He's a junior. Spalding holds the ball, gets the personnel on the field. Just under seven minutes left in the first period, one to one. Good check that time. That was Bradley Johnson, senior captain, going to Marquette. Oh, just wide. Cody Collier, junior, committed to Navy. Nice job there, Zim. He's fading away a little bit behind the goal as he shot that, but it's still a good look. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Calvert Hall might have something here. Nope. Good job by spawning, matching up, and getting their personnel inside. This is 42. Cal back so. Just wide. Senior going to Bryant. 19 goals, 6 assists. This is Steele. Good take. Balls on the ground. Big ground ball that time. That was a nice take in by, by uh, uh, Calvert Hall. But Newman is really, he seems to be seeing the ball well and, and stepping up. Let's see if they can clear the ball. Nothing special. It's a 3-3 zone ride. Good patience. Nice clear. That's Ben Ruiz with the ball, senior. He'll be going to the Naval Academy. This is Joey Mutasa, again a sophomore. Will Cook. Jack Newell with the ball. Again, leads the team in points with 27. Really patient, really patient offense. They're disciplined for sure on the offensive end of the field. Little two-man game out front. Nice job that time by Donovan Lewis. Playing D, good tough athlete. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Got a flag down situation. That's going to be a push. On Lewis, 30-second penalty. Tough call there, but it was it was a push. It was from the back. So let's see how they uh, how they shape up on AML. There's the replay. Easy call for the official. Yep, for sure. First extra man opportunity of the game for either team. Just over five minutes left in the first period. 30-second penalty. Take a little 2 2 2 here, Zim. See what they do. Coward Hall playing just the straight zone. They're sharing the crease. Oh, and there's a good look inside. Really nice look inside that time. That was Bobby Comins, a sophomore. When you share the crease, the crease man is always going to be available. You got to always look when you're passing the ball around the perimeter. Check out that crease man. Yeah, and they're splitting in there, splitting inside, so it tends to get open. Good patience, and there's a shot just wide. Penalties released. Teams are all leaving. 428 left in the first period. 29 seconds left on the shot clock. It's all leaving. They balance up. They stayed with the same personnel on the field. This is Gordon Bennett. 
Ten seconds on the shot clock. Outside shot. Just wide. That was Diego Garza. Short clock here. Yep, Spalding will just uh, throw the ball in the corner and get their personnel on and off the field. That was a nice job by Calvert Hall to kill the man, the, you know, the man down and then uh, – and then hold them out through the shot clock. And that's the second time it should they've had a shot clock uh, violation. They've got a good experience, D. Nice clear that time. That was Jackson Snowbaker. He's just a freshman. Josh Nagy. Kevin Hall's got uh, four defensive middies that can really get the job done. All athletes and, uh, you know, play that position very, very well. One of the most challenging positions on the lacrosse field. That was Brannick there. Boy, he's a big guy. He goes down down the uh, the alley pretty well. Yeah, Brannick, uh, he's a defensive player, but they keep him on the field to play some offense. That time he held the ball a little bit too long. Nice ground ball by the Cavaliers. That's Robbie Hopper. Leads the team in ground balls with 48. You saw why right there. First time. Got low. Went through it. Ran to daylight. That's how you get it done. He sure did. Interesting to see Spalding, uh, Zim, with uh, – they're, they're, they're playing a lot of guys in the midfield. They're switching guys off. No, getting that's a lot good. of players on the field. Yeah, they're fresh. See what they run. They haven't gone through X at all. They've been going down the alleys and then typically throwing back. Ethan Ostrowski's in the game. Turnover there. Coward Hall spreading the field. When you clear the ball, it's not about using the length of the field. It's about using the width. You have the extra man on your defensive end. Find the two-on-one. Get it done. Oh, good look inside. But no. Oh, Cavaliers have something coming back. They have the two and one. Let's see if they finish it. Oh, that's a great play. Joey Mutasa in the right place at the right time. All started with the turnover on the clear. Great job. Great job there. Was a turnover on the clear. Pognos brought the ball down, dished it off to Mutasa. Really a nice job. And again, riding. Been riding hard. And did it. That's a, they've had some turnovers. They forced some turnovers here, Zim. We'll be right back. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor for the 2023 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Welcome back. Alongside John Lehman, this is Don Zimmerman giving you all the action of today's game. Two to one. Archbishop Spalding leading Calvert Hall. 154 left in the first period. Coach, we've got some good up and down action. We really do, and I'm really impressed with uh, with uh, Spalding in, in there just working the ball when it's on the ground from on the face-offs, riding, incredible job riding. So they're really pressuring and, and doing a good job getting that turnover and making something happen off of it. Well, we talked about riding. The key is spreading out, and that's good. But if you turn over the ball, you're spread out, and that's bad. So you've got to handle the ball when you're clearing. Really nice ground ball that time. That's Josh Nagy. Soccer, all Metro, all MIAA. Another two sport athletes. Good help by Shuey Kelly coming up. He's a senior. He'll be going to Georgetown. Leads the team in assists with 33 and points with 55. He can do it all. 
He sure can, boy. He's, a, he's quite an athlete and quite a player. Little two-man game here. Good pick, no call. Good ball movement by the Cardinals. Oh, and a great left-hand high bouncer. That was Wyatt Hoddle, the team's leading scorer, makes it 2-2 two to two with just over a minute left in the first period. Nice job here. They moved the ball from behind the goal, and Hoddle, as soon as he got the ball, get, got to the middle of the field. He increased his angle on the goal, got to the middle of the field, and a great bounce shot in the upper corner. Love that high bouncer. Bounce it out by the crease. Let the ball work for you. Bounce shot at the goalie's feet is not a bounce shot. All right, let the ball work for you. Bounce it out by the crease. Here you go, big face off. And a great job there. Nice, nice ground ball. Sporting has a chance now to get one. Shot clock is not a factor. See what they go. They're still trying to get their personnel on the field with 35 seconds left. No rush here. Don't milk it. Going for the last shot here, Zim. And that's smart. You don't want to give the opponents a chance to get one at the end. Twelve point five left in the period. This is Bradley Mollett with the ball. Good first move comes around. Looks into the inside. Tough handle. Nice job by Kevin Hall again. Stopping that last ditch opportunity Absolutely. by the Spalding. Good first quarter action, two to two. Both teams playing hard, getting some tough ground balls. Goalies are coming up strong. Great first quarter, great first quarter from both teams. MIAA Lacrosse Championships are back with two days, four games of action. The MIAA A semifinal doubleheader will take place Tuesday, May 16th at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis, Maryland. The MIAA A and B championship games will face off at Loyola University's Ridley Athletic Complex on Friday, May 19th. Tickets are on sale now at MIAAChampionships.com. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer <laughs> summer, like getting ice cream, movie nights, <laughs> I'll keep it down, hiking with the besties, catching sunsets, or just plain catch. Go long. Buy a RAV4 with special financing as low as 3.99%, or pick a spacious Highlander with as low as 3.49% on select models. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor for the 2023 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Two, Calvert Hall two. There's Brian Kelly, the head coach. Coach Kelly's got to be happy with so far. I mean, it's a scrapping game, and that's the kind of kind of game he likes to likes to coach. Certainly, I would have to consider Coach Kelly the dean of MIAA coaches. 27th season. 
Hard to, hard to believe that when you look at him. He looks like he's 27. <laughs> Boy, an early timeout call. You don't see that very often. You know, coaches like to save their timeouts for the end of the, of the halves. We'll be back. Day, millions of athletes compete in their sport. However, most of their greatest achievements, their highlights, go unnoticed and unacknowledged. The Five Star app exists to give those athletes an opportunity to be seen and celebrated by their peers, competitors, and fans in a safe social environment. Download the app. Follow the best up-and-coming athletes in the world. Whether you're an athlete or a fan, this app is for you. You can find us in Apple's app and Google's Play Stores. All right, we're back. 11.38 left in the second period. All tied up at two. Coach, that last time out uh, by Calvert Hall was uh, was unusual. As it happened very, very early in the second quarter. Yeah, it was unusual. Let's see what he called. You know, he brought his team together, and whether it was a personnel that he wanted to change or what, but it obviously uh, – you know, you think he's going to come out of that huddle with something uh, something up his sleeve. Well, here we go. All right, this is Hoddle. He has both the goals. Look inside. Oh, good check that time. And here we go, Robbie Hooper looking upfield. Spalding's got something. It's a four on three. Let's see how they handle it. Oh, goalie's ball. Good call by the official. When and where the ball goes out, who's ever closest, that team possesses the ball. That was a good four on three, but I thought they had the left hander open, Coach. I, I was just going to say the same thing. He, uh, that was a great fast break they did. It right, everybody touched the ball except that last guy that was sitting on that backside. Another turnover. Another here. turnover. Logan Meehan with the uh, with the ground ball. He's a senior, has 22 ground balls, and he will be heading to Towson. Another successful clear by the Cavaliers. Calvert Hall has turned the ball over twice now. Coach Kelly not happy with that, especially after calling the timeout. Let's see how they respond on defense. Okay, here we go. Diego Garza with the ball to Jack Newell. Leads the team in points. This is Jake Wolf. Once again, Coach, fresh guys on the field. Coach Phipps is using a lot of people. Donovan Lewis again playing good, tough one-on-one D. Less than 30 on the shot clock. Forced pass that time. No change of possession, no shot clock. Change it, there's a shot and a score. Alec Howard, that's his second. The junior going to UMBC. That was a great play, and that was Newell to Howard. A great job. They had a little, 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 little back there. Let's see, picked up a loose ball, coming inside, looks in, looks in the middle, and, and gets it to Howard. Great look by Jack Newell, great ground ball. Really a nice job there. You know, that's a good lesson. Again, when you get a ground ball, get your eyes up and look to move it, especially when you're around the goal. Look to the inside. That crease man may be wide open. Good example. Here we go. 3-2, Spalding, 9.36 left in the half. Spalding's all over the ground balls. I think they're winning that battle at this point. This is Hopper. He'll take it all the way. Shot bounces over. Nice job by Hopper, though. Nice, nice look, and they backed it up. This is Kaufman with the ball. He can go both ways, but they like to get him out. Uh, on offense, save him for the defensive side of the field. He's a very, very good player. Tight end on the football team. And again, Spalding is the MIAAA champions in football. This is Connor Wilbur. To Brady Mollett out top. Good juke that time and a shot. Terrific shot Terrific by shot. Ben Duffy, the junior 
committed to Vermont. Let's take a look at the replay. What a great job by Duffy. Got on the wing. Little Juke, he really didn't, he didn't go by his guy. Little Juke got some, some space and let it go. And a really a nice shot. It's all about that first move. For, again, for you young players, I hope you're watching and learning. When you're on offense and dodging, put everything you got into that first move. Lose your man early, freeze everything up. Here we go with the faceoff. 8.46 left, 4-2 to two Cavaliers. Big ground ball that time. All right, Calvert Hall hadn't had the ball in, in, in this quarter much, so let's see what they do on offense. Yeah, they needed that face-off, Coach. This is Donovan Lewis. Good job controlling the ball. All right here come the Cardinals. Ryan Botek passes it off. Peyton Fort. Another good first move that time. Oh, and oh, off wow. the pipe. That'll reset the shot clock. Sure Real nice him. take that time. Was that Cody Collier, Coach? I believe it, it was. was. And they, and they held on to possession. Again, I'm not sure who called that timeout over there. I don't know whether that was a Phipps timeout or not. But anyway, a timeout again. Well, the PA announcer said Calvert Hall. So uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Again, 4-2 to two, Spalding. 8.04 left in the second period. Stay tuned. Locally grown, nationally known. Welcome back. 4-2, Spalding over Calvert Hall. 8.04 left in the second period. Really seen uh, a nice job by Spalding. Uh, really, I think, dominating the ground balls early on in this game. And... I believe that was Calvert Hall's second timeout. So they're out of timeouts uh, for the rest of the half. That's, that's unusual, but I'm sure Coach Kelly has a reason. All right, here we go. Shuey Kelly with the ball to Hoddle. Spalding's in the zone. They come out in the zone. See how Calvert Hall handles it. That's back, so. Good look inside. Oh, a backhander over the shoulder. Just why they keep it going. All right, this should be an over and back. But they're going to let him play on, and that's a good call by the official. Spalding has some numbers. Nice takeaway oh, wow. that time. That was. Botek bringing the ball down. Decides to settle. Shuey Kelly. Spalding stays in their zone. Just under seven minutes left in the half. Four to two. Cavaliers. A lot of firepower out there for Calvert Halls, Em. See what they can do. Oh, good take that time, but a real nice check. That was Robbie Hopper, again, just a sophomore. Brock LaRochelle playing defense. Nick Steele behind the goal, just coming back now, his second game back after knee surgery and rehab. He's a good one. Less than 20 in the shot clock. Oh, a good outside stinger that time. Wyatt Hoddle, that's his third. Getting in that middle of the field. He just knew that they were going to get that ball to him. He was trying to get, get set up, and sure enough, as soon as he touched the ball, he let it go. Here's the replay. And that's the firepower that I just alluded to. They got some guys that can let it fly. And when you got Shuey and Hoddle on the field at the same time, you got 100 points. 
between the between those two and they out can, on the field. They, they can let it go. They can force a defense to extend. You got to get to their gloves. Four, three, six, thirteen left in the in the half. Oh, really nice job by Gordon Griffith. Just a sophomore has come in and done an excellent job. Fill in the shoes. Ben Ruiz. Successful clear. Cavaliers. Nice job by Ruiz. Coach Phipps is really high on him. He's a captain of the team and just a great player. Ben Duffy, the left-hander out top. This is Wilbur. He's got a good matchup. He likes this. Good tough defense that time. All right, we got the men hung up. Let's see what what uh, Spalding does with it. That's a great look. Oh, left a dangerous shooter open there. Yeah, I, that was I, Howard. <laughs> I said earlier, if, if, if I'm a coach, I go and get a basketball coaching book. And when you have that situation where you have a man hung up, I would review what they do on a baseline, out of bounds, set play. You get plenty of those in lacrosse nowadays. But here we go. Nice inside row and a great slide that time. That was Hayden Warren, senior, going to Dickinson. Ball stays with the Cavaliers. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Just under five minutes left in the half. Oh, a good look and a great finish that time. That's P.J. Pokeness, the senior captain. What a, he's a finisher. We talked about him being inside. He's a shooter. Here's the replay. What a great look inside, and Pokeness knows what to do with it. Pokeness is a football player all league, and he'll be going to RPI. A lot of two-sport athletes out here. We'll be back. 5-3 Cavaliers. Each day, millions of athletes compete in their sport. However, most of their greatest achievements, their highlights, go unnoticed and unacknowledged. The Five Star app exists to give those athletes an opportunity to be seen and celebrated by their peers, competitors, and fans in a safe social environment. Download the app. Follow the best up-and-coming athletes in the world. Whether you're an athlete or a fan, this app is for you. You can find us in Apple's app and Google's Play stores. Welcome back, 5-3. Cavaliers, 451 left in the half. Coach okay. Brian Phipps. Coach Phipps has got to be pretty happy with what he's seen so far, Coach. He's, uh, you know, he, he wanted to put, put scrap. He wanted to scrap in this game. He knew he was going to have to fight. He was going to have to get the ball on the ground and get the 50-50s. And they're getting their share of them and doing a good job. And offensively, I think they're doing a great job getting the ball inside and finishing it. Well, it all starts with the ground balls, and the ground balls get you the possessions. And I like what they're doing on offense. Like you say, they're holding, you know, slowing down the tempo, working the ball. Uh, they're, they're getting some good looks inside. Calvert Hall's got to do a better job of covering up that inside. But right now, I think it's all about the ground balls, and, and uh, Spalding is, uh, is really taking advantage of, of their opportunities. Well, I think you're right, and you've, you've alluded to basketball. You alluded about the baseline and coming off the out-of-bounds. And you talk about, you know, looking in the inside, and it's just like basketball. When you get to play basketball, where do you look? You look in the paint to see if there's a layup first. Then you can move it, and they're doing a good job of doing that, moving the ball, looking inside. If, if somebody's there, they're getting it into them. They're doing a real nice job finishing. The feeds are accurate, and the finishes are strong. Here we go, 4.51 left, 5-3 Spalding. There it is, that loose There's ball. There's that scrap. Yep. Big ground ball that time by Noah Brannick. Looks ahead. Jackson Snellbaker, just a freshman. Shuey Kelly. Cavert Hall settles. Jackson Mitchell on the field. Sophomore. A fresh crew for Calvert Hall on this run. Joe Dugan. Nice save. Again, that's early in the uh, in the shot clock. Seems like Calvert Hall is rushing their shots a little bit. You know, you can't make a 
<laughs> you can't get back all at once. Stick to the game plan. One goal at a time. Add them up at the end. Here we go. Successful clear again by the Cavaliers. This is Jake Wolf. He'll hold until his midfield mates come out on the field. 350 left in the in the half. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Wolf's just a sophomore. He takes it. I didn't I think that hit off a field a player. <laughs> hit off a field player, not the goalie, so the shot clock does not reset. It's got to hit off the goalie or the pipe. Again, Wolf's on the field. Has the ball behind. They like the invert. Good defense that time. Gavin Patelka with the good D. Got the stick in there. Oh, that's a good look inside. On oh, a great save. Jacob Newman with a great save on the doorstep. Wow, what a job there. And they had gone, they went to the point man and then gave it back to the pole in the middle, and he had a great opportunity and a super stop. Biggest save of the day right now. Another successful clear. This is Diego Garza. It's been a clean game so far, Coach. Just one penalty. The officials appreciate that and let them play. It really has been. And there's a, for another fresh group out of here for, uh, for Spalding. Garza. Just wide. Oh, that's a, that's a big ground ball. That's Howard. Good timeout call that time by Coach Phipps. Really good timeout. That time, Alec Howard got a tough ground ball next to the sideline, was covered. Perfect timeout by Coach Brian Phipps. 2.18 to go. All right, let's look at that last save. That was a big one. Let's see. They did a great job bringing the ball down. Gave the ball to the point, and then the point gave it right to the, to the, to the pole, on the inside, and, and he did a great job. He had a great opportunity. That was Barteka, Telka that, uh, that had the opportunity, but Newman standing up strong, and that's a real, real big save. Real big save. Yeah, well, that's what the goal is supposed to do, right? Uh, <laughs> stop the ball from going in the cage. That's a tough one. You know, it's, it's tough enough when it's attacking or many, but when these guys get in with those long poles and they're right on top of you, you never know where that ball is going to go. Well, keep your eye on the ball and, uh, you know, hope for the best. And that time it all worked out. 2.18 left. In the half, 5-3, Spalding. Seen some real good ground ball action. Both offenses are, I think, doing a nice job of moving the ball and taking advantage of certain situations. But I love how the defenses are coming up. You know, this is a, a low-scoring game at this point. And uh, it's all about defense, getting the ball. And don't forget, if you get a big, tough ground ball, you're on offense, but you're resting your defense. So, Possessing the ball on offense, you're playing great defense. Absolutely. And, you know, in our, in our pregame stuff and uh, uh, talks and, and visiting with Coach Phipps, he was really high on Newman. And, and the kid's a sophomore. He says he's really a leader, and he's, a, he's really happy with his play. All right, here we go with the restart. Let's see what Coach Phipps calls out of this timeout. Oh, they look inside again. It Tried to force it, but we got a, we got a penalty that's going to go against Calvert Hall because they stopped the game. They stopped uh, the action. If that would have been against Spalding, they would have let it play. Okay, here we go. So Spalding's got their second opportunity, I believe, on, uh, on the man up. See what they do. They came out in a 2-2-2 the last time. Let's see what they do. They're pretty spread out on this one. Again, you got Diego Garza. Guards with four extra man goals. Jack Newell, four extra man goals. So look for them to take a high quality shot here. 204 left in the half. 5 3 Cavaliers. Reset the shot clock to 80. The reason being is because it was a change of possession. Cavardall had the ball when the flag was thrown. Now. Cavaliers have the ball. It doesn't go to 60. It goes to 80. Anytime the ball is uh, the, the change of possession anywhere on the field, it's 80 seconds. I think Brian Kelly, Coach Kelly, Calvert Hall is questioning, and I'm not sure what his question is over there, whether it's 
involving the penalty or the or the reset or whatever, but he wasn't happy. Here we go. Maybe trying to get his team fired up, but here we go. It's a one minute foul. Calvert Hall again playing the five man, which means they share the inside. So perimeter players always look inside. Watch for P.J. Pokeness. He is really, really tough. Understands how to get open. Great off-ball player. And yeah, put him out. He was just cut in through the wing on the little wing-to-wing -wing action. There's That's a good look and, and a ball. finish. That's the way to do it. That was Bobby Comins, a sophomore. Good patience by the EMO. 6-3 Cavaliers. Let's see the let's see the replay. That was Connor Wilbur looking inside. Nice look inside to uh, Comins, and that's a great goal, a great extra man execution. We talked about Connor Wilbur leading the team in assists. You can see why. Looks like Coach Kelly did a wholesale sub. Big, another big time ground, oh, ground ball. ball. Where's his help? No call on that. That's a good no call by the official. That was Nolan Philly. He's a senior going to Mercer. Got to get it out, though. They've got to clear it. Five seconds left to clear the ball. They didn't get it done. It's going to be a quick restart. Let's see if Calvert Hall can hit him with the counterattack. Wow, that was a tough one. Tough one not to get it out. Less than a minute in the half. Plenty of time on the shot clock. It's a non-factor. Big, big possession here for the Cardinals. Big one. They've got their first group out there in the midfield as well. Good ball movement. Here's the hung play. Off the pipe. No goal. The official was right there. That's a great Good ground job. ball. And look inside. Oh, uh, that's going to yeah. be a flag. They're going to call it. Good call. A little push with possession. Wow, what action there, Coach. That, that was incredible action. And, uh, and they ended up in a penalty. But both teams were scrapping for the ground ball. Great goalie play. Great stop. Here's the replay. The so ball goes on the ground. It should be a 30-second push. Let's see what they called. They're going to call a cross check one minute with just under 24 seconds left in the half. Let's see what Calvert Hall does. Let's see if they'll attack or if they'll just uh, hold the ball and start the uh, second half man up and with the ball. Yeah, that's a tough call, you know, because you, you haven't been winning the faceoffs easily. So, you know, you, you might want to just hold it. And that looks like what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Coach, uh, right now, Spalding is shutting off. Hoddle, Hoddle with Ben Ruiz. I've seen him do this in the past. They did it against Severn. It's a nice ploy. And clock expires to end the first half. Spalding six, Calvert Hall three. Coach, your thoughts? Well, great, great first half. Great. Both teams are fighting. And I think uh, Coach Phipps has got to be happy with the way his team is scrapping. And, uh, and this second half. Now, we come out of the second. For the second, second half, Calvert Hall will have the ball. Okay, good first half, 6-3, Spalding. Get ready for a real intense second half coming up. We'll be back. Locally grown, nationally known. Kelly 
employee benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor for the 2023 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Bold, tenacious, entrepreneurial. Working with CFG is like working with a partner. They're about what's best for our business. Making it personal. They were asking us questions about our business. They were getting to know us. That's just different. CFG is not your traditional bank. If you're looking to grow your business, CFG is who you want to be in business with. We are transforming the banking experience. At CFG Bank, your success is our business. Welcome back. We're here at halftime with Frank Kelly III, CEO of Kelly Benefits. Thanks so much for being here today, Frank, and also for your support of the MIAA Game of the Week. It really means a lot to us and to the, to the game of lacrosse. Uh, Frank, tell me the size and scope of, of Kelly Benefits. Sure. Thanks, Jim. And uh, we're honored to be the sponsor. We love the game. Uh, we love the MIA, and we're honored to sponsor. My parents started Kelly Benefits um, over 45 years ago in the basement of the home we grew up in. Uh, today, me and my three brothers, John, David, Brian, are all in the business. We have nearly 500 other associates who partner with us. We market group health, life, disability insurance uh, benefits. We provide payroll and other HR solutions in an integrated way, and we've been fortunate to grow and serve thousands of employers here in the state of Maryland, and we're thankful for every one of them. Do you have any new initiatives on the horizon you'd like to talk about? Well, like any business, we're trying to grow profitably. Um, we're doing some innovative things in the benefits payroll HR integration uh, area as far as technology platforms that create major efficiencies, save time, cost, hassle for employers. So, you know, we help employers design benefits for their employees in the most cost effective and efficient way possible. You know, we're also involved in the community in a lot of different ways, too. We're honored to support the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. They have a unique uh, lacrosse um, arm. FCA Lacrosse does incredible things in the summer with camps, uh, with teams. And, um, you know, we'd love to integrate business and sport and life and faith together. So it's great. That's great stuff. We'll be right back. Summer's here. And with an exciting new Toyota, you can take a trip to the beach, the city, the mountains, the desert, Ooh, the bayou. I think I'm sinking. Definitely sinking. Get 3.99% APR on a Tacoma or go a point lower on a 4x2. Or pick a 2023 Tundra or 4Runner, two of the top 10 cars with best resale value. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. The LIDS MIAA Lacrosse Championships are back with two days, four games of action. The MIAA A semifinal doubleheader will take place Tuesday, May 16th at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis, Maryland. The MIAA A and B championship games will face off at Loyola University's Ridley Athletic Complex on Friday, May 19th. Tickets are on sale now at MIAAChampionships.com. We are transforming the banking experience. We are bold, tenacious, entrepreneurial. We make it personal. CFG is not your traditional bank. Staying complacent isn't who we are. We are not afraid to do things differently and find the right solution to meet your business goals and dreams. At CFG Bank, your success is our business. Welcome back. We're here with CEO of Kelly Benefits, Frank Kelly III. Frank, uh, tell us about your association 
with the game of lacrosse. It's, it's a great story. Yeah. Well, we're thankful for the game, the creator's game. Um, my parents moved here from Philadelphia in the late 60s. Um, my brother John was the first to play the game in the early 70s. I thought lacrosse was for wimps. Get to Calvert Hall, really to play football, get recruited by the lacrosse coach. Next thing you know, I'm on the lacrosse field. The rest is history for me, but between me and my brother John, my brother David, my brother Brian, we've all played at the high school collegiate level. My brother uh, David and Brian were fortunate to be a part of national championship teams at UNC. Between me and my brothers, we have 21 kids, 15 boys, six girls, and uh, 13 of the 15 boys have played at Calvert Hall, um, and most have played at the Division One collegiate level as well and won a national championship or two. So we're, we love the game. Uh, there's so many great people in it. Uh, I know Jazim, you even coached me in the club days and just love the game and the people in it and so thankful for it. One of the great face-off men uh, <laughs> that I've ever coached in the game of lacrosse and such a supporter uh, of the game and, and your family. Uh, lacrosse is lucky to have you and your well, family be a part of it. Good. And uh, I'm sure you're very proud of your association. We are. I'm, I'm grateful. You know, my brother Brian's the head coach at Calvert Hall. My nephew Joshua and my nephew Yasu. Uh, my brother David Sung, he was born in Ethiopia, adopted. He's out there on the team. And uh, the game's been so good to our family, and we want to give back and see the game grow, not only around the state, around the nation, but around the world. Well, when I think of the Kelly family, I think of giving back. So thanks Thank again you. for everything, and well, God bless you. Thank you. God bless. Peace. We'll be right back. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor for the 2023 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Toyota, you can do all your favorite beach activities, like spike ball, whitewater rafting, shrimp boils, wade fishing, or hanging with the locals. You can say that again. Buy a sporty all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive Camry and get as low as 3.99% APR. Or pick a stylish Corolla sedan or hatchback. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back. Alongside John Lehman, I'm Don Zimmerman. We're bringing you all the action in today's game. 6-3, Archbishop Stwalding, uh starting the second half. Let's look at some of the uh, halftime stats. Coach, what do you got? Well, look at that. Total shots is even up there. Shots on goal, pretty close. Face-offs, that's, that's surprising. But I think that Calvert Hall has gotten the more face-offs, but then Spalding has ridden them hard and getting some, gotten some turnovers off the face-off, and there's their five turnovers. Uh, the goal scoring, you know, you got Hoddle with the hat trick already, and Howard leading the Spalding guys. Hoddle will be uh, going to Syracuse next year. Well, he can certainly shoot it. Here we go. Start of the second half. 6-3 Cavaliers. Calvert Hall with a man up. 30 seconds, seven. 37 seconds left in the uh, one-minute penalty. Let's see what they do here. Again, you got um, Ben Rua shutting off. Wyatt Hollow behind the goal. Good look inside. Oh, off the pipe. And another save. Jacob Newman having a terrific game. The pipe was his best friend on the first shot, but he got the second one. Great job there. Great job, and they are shutting off. 
Hot also. Let's see. It's a five on four game. There's another one right in the middle. 11 seconds to go in the penalty. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Good patience. And another save. If they're for Seinfeld, you'd hear Newman. <laughs> he's, he's playing great. <laughs> he he's sure playing is. Great. What a difference maker right there, man. That is, was one incredible effort through that entire extra man situation. Jameson Kaufman with the clear. He's a tremendous athlete. Got to think in the huddles at halftime there. That, that extra man was important to both teams. So important. Both teams. Shot just wide, 10.49 left in the third period. Just under 50 in the shot clock. Plenty of time for the Cavalier offense to, to do their thing. That was a big man down uh, save by, uh, by Spalding. This is Mutasa, likes his left hand. Coward Hall slides early to him. Look inside! Oh, that's a wow. nice save. Swartz saw that one all the way. And a ride. Look at them riding. Smalling's doing a really good job of making it hard to get out. Good time ride. You know, again, 14, uh, uh, Donovan Lewis is a heck of an athlete, but when you carry the ball, uh, when you carry your stick in one hand, you know, attackmen are going to key on you because they know you're not going to pass it. I think you always have two hands on your stick, you know, and if you're double team, maybe fake a pass to help you escape. But here we go. Wide Hoddle, he's been the uh, been Calvert Hall's offense. Let's see what Calvert Hall comes back with. That's back so. Dugan. That was Steele who lost the ball. We got a man down. The refs will let him play. Got numbers and they pull it out. You know, Jim, that, that, this turnover was created by Ruiz playing a great job on defense down there and, uh, and, and forced the turnover, and they got the loose ball. Ruiz is a really, really fine player. They ask him to do a lot, and he does it. He gets the job done. This is Duffy. Calvert Hall starting to extend. 42, 41 seconds left in the shot clock. This is Wilbur. He's a feeder. Oh, no call there. Could have been a loose ball push call. Let's see who comes up with this one. Over and back. We call the over and the back. Good call. All right, drop the ball. They're not going to call any delay game there. Now, if he'd have rolled the ball away, the referees would have thrown the flag for delay a game. Here we go. This is Collier, again, a junior who is committed to the Naval Academy. We got Noah Brannick now running some offense. To Botech. It's Ruiz. Ruiz just seems so calm out there. Oh, a good pick off that time. Let's see what happens. That's a real, that is an outstanding wow. play by Logan Meehan. Oh, wow. Nice look into the inside. Just, just, well, let's see if they can get caught with a ground ball. Calvert Hall does. Good job by Calvert Hall. But go back to Meehan. He, had, he was a tightrope with that long stick on the sideline, managed to keep his composure and get the ball up the field. But give Calvert Hall credit. They forced a turnover, and now they're back on offense. Here we go. 7.40 left in the third period, 6-3. Archbishop Spalding. This is Hoddle. To Brannick. Oh, they're going to call. They got a flag down here. Must have got a little, po a little uh, face mask in that poke chest. Oh, that's a good hit. And that'll stop play, but that's a really, really good play by Jamison Kaufman. Showed his football skills there with that hit. Let's see what the officials have on this one. 
Here's the replay. That's the clean hit. That was the hit after the uh, after the penalty. The penalty, I think, was it was a slash. So he must have just on that poke check popped him in the uh, in the face mask. One thing I say on these telecasts is, for you young defensemen, I can't understand why you play defense with your pocket up. You follow your pocket in this game, which means you're going to check up into the head neck area. Play with that pocket down. Control the gloves. Control the player. Here we go. Well, one three two from Calvert Hall. Rotating around. Good look. Oh, that time a real fine finish. I believe that was Kelly. Shuey Kelly. Shuey Kelly with the man up goal. Yep. Makes it 6 4. Here's the look. Look, Kelly got inside, just got inside that defenseman on the corner and finished it off. Shuey Kelly going to Georgetown, leads the team in fifth, with 55 points. Real nice play that time with the man up. 6 4. Spalding. Jackson Strickland's in the game, Coach. We thought that he might not play due to, a, due to an injury, but uh, Coach Kelly has brought him on. And he got the, and he got the faceoff clean, but once again, the turnover after the faceoff. We talked about that in the half to, coming out of halftime with the stats. Calvert Hall's getting faceoffs, but then turning it over. Stats can be misleading. You know, it's one thing to gain initial possession, but you've got to get it down to your attack unit so you can maintain that possession. Here we go. Under 6.30 left in the third. 6.4 Cavaliers. Garza. Oh, good little three-man play that time. Calvert Hall defense playing at a whole different level right now, Coach. Well, they really are. But a ground a ball, big ground ball by Alec Howard. And a takeaway. Calvert Hall's got numbers coming back. Let's see if they can cash in. Good job by Spalding getting back into the hole, taking away the counterattack. Just under six minutes left in the third. 6-4, Spalding. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Incredible defensive uh, uh, work there uh, for Calvert Hall. Great job just hawking that ball. Well, that's the most intensity I've seen them play uh, really at both ends of the field. Their defense has really picked it up a notch. This is Mitchell. Oh, they're going to pull a little substitution game here. Good scrap. Again, that's Logan Meehan. He has been all over the ground ball here in the second half. What an incredible job. Ground balls, ground balls, ground balls. They're both teams are fighting for him. It's a, really a scrap. That's what you like to see. Wilbur. I like that guy, Zim. He really looks to the inside. He's a great carries the ball well. Just a junior. This is Mollett. Fifty seconds left on the shot clock. Duffy gets underneath. Oh, oh good save good that time by Swartz. That was a good take by Duffy. Duffy likes to work from those wing, the wing, and he did a nice job again. Oh, oh, I tell you, Jermaine Anderson that time just couldn't handle it. Second chance opportunity for the Cavaliers. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Just over four minutes left in the third period. 6-4, Spalding. Again, Duffy from the wing. Let's see what he does. They're sliding to him early. They're going to go right back. Donovan Lewis on the D. Got him hung. Let's see what they can cash in on this. Oh, good check that time. Hayden Warren, the senior, going to Dickinson. Real time, timely check, and a big-time ground ball. Shot clock doesn't change. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Don't forget a lot of carrying here. He's got to be worn out. Good look inside. Oh, just over the goal. 
Great look by Delphi into Pogness. Man, that's that's their go-to guy on the inside. Look at Delphi. He's just, he's beat. Pogness. 22 goals, one assist. You think he's looking <laughs> to get open inside? Think he's a finisher? Great job again by the, the Calvert Hall defense. Just standing to it. Great, just some good work in the goal. Just really good teamwork as a D. Interesting ride here. Letting the goalkeeper bring the ball up the field. Well, they're one second away from having a delay there. A little hitch there and uh, strategy by Coach Phipps. This is Dugan. Will Cook playing defense. And pushing out. Boy, he was really out there playing him. Mitchell over to back so. Good job on the two on one that time. Good double team. So impressed. That was Cook again. So impressed. These poles on both teams are just so incredible. Got to finish that ball. play. Yeah. That'll be Calvert Hall ball, I believe. Just under two minutes left in the third period. Cavaliers six, Cardinals four. See what they called. I think I think each official had a different different call on it, but they did give it to Calvert Hall, and they'll, they'll be coming into the offensive end now. You know, you mentioned you mentioned that uh, the Calvert Hall defense has really picked it up. I don't think that the uh, the Cavaliers have scored a goal here in the third period. No, no yep, not so at all. Way to pick it up, uh, Calvert Hall defense. All right, here we go. Playing the zone. Got to be on Hoddle out there. He's not afraid to let it go from there. This is it. Oh, no. Good look off. And a great shot. That was Shuey Kelly. Was that Shuey again? Shuey from, from Hoddle. Real nice dish off that time by Hoddle. You know, they expected him to shoot. They had to come to him quickly. One more. Shuey Kelly makes it 6-5 with 125 left in the third period. Stay tuned. MIAA Lacrosse Championships are back with two days, four games of action. The MIAA A semifinal doubleheader will take place Tuesday, May 16th at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis, Maryland. The MIAA A and B championship games will face off at Loyola University's Ridley Athletic Complex on Friday, May 19th. Tickets are on sale now at MIAAChampionships.com. Welcome back. 6-5 Cavaliers, 125 left in the third period. Let's take a look at the A Conference standings. We've got Loyola at 7-1, McDonough 7-1, Boys Latin 5-2, as is Calvert Hall, St. Mary's 4-3, and, and St. Paul's 4-3. and three. Those are the teams right now that will be eligible for the playoffs, 7-3-4, and, and Spalding 2-5, and five. Gilman 2-5, and five. St. Joe 1-6, and, and John Carroll 0-8. Oh the time of year, Coach. The time of year they're fighting to get in the playoffs. That's what it's all about, Coach. That's the next step. You've got to go to the next level. Here we go. Got this first unity out there again for Calvert Hall. Those guys have got to be winded as well. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No. These guys are hot right now. Good ball movement getting around. Early slide and a good double again. Let's see if they stay on it. Oh, way to stay on that ground ball. Kind of incredible. That was Collier. How early they slide. Sam, I'm, I'm really just, I, I can't believe how early they show that. Hot. Hot with the ball, banks it around to the side. 
Big left hand move here by Shuey. Oh, just over the cage. 31 left in the uh, in the shot clock, so it still is a factor. Four second difference. Cavaliers back to playing man to man. Less than 30. Oh, good save that time. Again, Newman, big save. They needed that. Been a quiet spalling on offense here, as we talked about. And they haven't scored since halftime, so let's see if they can put something together here. Less than 10. Let's see if they can bring it in and get a goal. Oh, good stick that time. It'll stay. Spalding ball with 4.2 seconds left in the third quarter. 6-5. Cavaliers. Here we go. See what their end line play is. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The third quarter really dominated that uh, time by Calvert Hall. Got to give the Calvert Hall defense for stepping up in the third period. Goalkeeper Swartz made some nice saves. We'll see you for the fourth period. Should be a great one. financing as low as 3.99% or pick a spacious Highlander with as low as 3.49% on select models. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Bold, tenacious, entrepreneurial. Working with CFG is like working with a partner. They're about what's best for our business. Making it personal. They were asking us questions about our business. They were getting to know us. That's just different. CFG is not your traditional bank. If you're looking to grow your business, CFG is who you want to be in business with. We are transforming the banking experience. At CFG Bank, your success is our business. Each day, millions of athletes compete in their sport. However, most of their greatest achievements, their highlights, go unnoticed and unacknowledged. The Five Star app exists to give those athletes an opportunity to be seen and celebrated by their peers, competitors, and fans in a safe social environment. Download the app. Follow the best up-and-coming athletes in the world. Whether you're an athlete or a fan, this app is for you. You can find us in Apple's app and Google's Play Stores. Welcome back. Start of the fourth period. Spalding 6, Coward Hall 5. Along with John Lehman, this is Don Zimmerman bringing you all the action. Should be a great fourth quarter. What a great third quarter was for Calvert Hall and especially for their defense, Zim. Great job and, you know, it was a 2-0 two, two quarter for, uh, for the Cardinals. It's what it's all about, the fourth period, right? This is where conditioning comes in, uh, discipline, sticking to the game plan. So here we go. This is back, so. Oh, a nice shot and a better save again. Jacob Newman. Great position in there. Great position by Newman. Stood his ground, didn't he? That's Robbie Hopper clearing the ball. Aye. Got to finish plays in lacrosse, whether it be a ground ball, a goal, a clear. Finish the play. Calvert Hall now clearing the ball. 11 minutes left in the fourth period. 6-5. Archbishop Spalding. Kyle Baxo, Jackson Mitchell, back to Baxo, likes his left hand, but can go down the right alley. It's 
Brings it to the opposite side. A little two-man game. Oh, a little duck under and just wide. That was Jackson Mitchell, just a sophomore. Really nice move to get underneath. Just couldn't finish the play. 41 seconds left in the shot clock. Toddle over there on the wing. Wants the there it back. is again. Oh, and that great finish. Jackson Mitchell, the sophomore, ties it up at six with 10.26 left in the fourth period. What a great job there by Mitchell. And I think Hoddle wanted that ball back. He was asking for it back over here. And then Mitchell just stepped in, split those guys with a little bit of toe drag, and finished it. What a nice play. Big finish. Ties it up. After falling behind early in the game, Calvert Hall has done a nice job. They've stuck with the game plan, and they've tied it up. Strickland back in the game. Will he finish? In the, in the crease. crease. Boy, Strickland's made a big difference. He's come in, and he's winning the ball cleanly. That takes away the scrappiness of the uh, Archbishop Spalding wing players. So quickly. So quickly. There's a big stop. Big stop that time. That was Bobby Comins. Could have maybe improved his angle a little bit on that shot. Here we go again with Calvert Hall on the offense. All the momentum is with the Cardinals right now. Spalding needs to get the ball on offense, settle, and work their offense. Get, get into some type of groove. Right now they're playing a little helter-skelter. All right, here we go. Calvert Hall with the ball. Just over 9.30 left in the fourth period. Scores tied 6-6. Six to six. Big time down the field here for Spalding especially. They've got to get something down at the other end. Get the ball on offense and get some settle. Great look inside. And there's the finish. Wow, what a breakdown there. Complete breakdown. Left, left Shuey Kelly sitting there on that back pipe wide open. Didn't get that second slide down. Let's see it. Let's see it. Look at Again, it's, Hoddle. It's Hoddle. They're paying attention. A lot of attention to Hoddle. And he looks by to uh, Shuey Kelly right down there. And that's because of Hoddle's potential. And they have to pay so much attention to him. They do. At that time, Jameson Kaufman had to get down the backside. He knows it. That was his slide. Calvert Hall takes the lead for the first time in the game. 7-6, 9-20 left in the fourth period. What do we got here? Spalding was changing players yeah, yeah, while delay the ball was being set down for the faceoff, and they did game. it twice. Well, their youth is starting to show a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're, they're where they, they really need to get they get a turnover, and they need to get there's a, there's a turnover right there. Now they really need to take care of the balls, and they got to go down here and have a really good offensive set. Absolutely. Now they've been stymied uh, thus far in the second half. Need to step up. Some guys need to step up, not be heroes, just take control, get your offense uh, on the same page, and, and work for a high-quality shot. Wow. And they knocked down the pass from, uh, from Newman. Plenty of time on the shot clock now. Calvert Hall can work the ball. I don't know if you want to think about taking time off because they have the momentum on their side, but they can certainly work the ball and get another uh, high-quality shot. For sure. This is Ruiz back there playing D, and he's a guy that you can count on. They've got to play as a team, as a unit right now. Dugan just wide. 40 seconds, 47 seconds left in the shot clock. Collier behind away. the goal. Spalding standing in their man-to-man, which I think is a good decision, but inside a great look. Great look. That time it was Hoddle finding Kyle Baxo on the backside pipe. 8-6. Calvert Hall, 8-14 left in the game. Here we go. Here's the replay. It, it, it's a it's a duplicate of the, the goal that just happened with Shuey Kelly down there because you have to spend spend and give so much attention to Hoddle 
and they, they're they're turning their heads, all watching Hoddle, and he's there's the other guys are sneaking in right behind him. Well, you called it; they're ball watching, and uh, you know defensively, you got to know where your man is, but you got to also have your head on a swivel, see the ball, see your man. This is Strickland. He's really coming and made a difference in the second half. Timeout by Calvert. Interesting you're saying about Strickland. Um, it's 8 6, 8 7 left in the game. Calvert Hall has come from behind. We'll see you back for the conclusion. Should be a good one. Stay tuned. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor for the 2023 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Welcome back, 8-6 Calvert Hall, 8.07 left in the game. Let's go and take a look at the CFG Bank save of the game. Save they give us so that's Newman. That was the one that went off the pipe, and then Newman stopped the other one with the pole of his stick on that man down situation. A great job there by Newman. He's had a really outstanding game. He really has, really has. But as we went to that break, Zim, they were coming off the face off. Strickland's made a really difference in this game because he's getting the face off so fast. Spalding did not even contest the face off. They went right to the hole. Both of the wings went right to the hole to shut off the break. Well, that's a smart, uh, a smart move. Got to try to tie him up a little bit. You know, they may bring in a long pull. I know I saw uh, Robbie Hopper take some face-offs for Spalding uh, against Severn. So let's see uh, if they make that adjustment. 8-6, Calvert Hall. A little over eight minutes left in the game. Full shot clock. This is Hoddle. Mitchell. Collier, little two-man game. Dugan, good switch that time. Oh, a nice job. That was Will Cook, stayed with it. Just got a piece of the stick on the shot. 46 seconds left in the shot clock. 7.36 left in the game. 8-6, Calvert Hall. Real nice trail check there. And let's see how they can D up. They've got a D up here. There's about 35 seconds left. On the shot clock. Calvert Hall is really moving the ball well now. Sharp, accurate passes on the money. Makes it tougher on the defense. Oh, there's a good check right there. Let's see if we can get some coming back. Cavaliers have numbers. They have a 6 on 5 Let's see if they take advantage. I like the fact that they settled the ball down. Good decision. That time by P.J. Pokeness. Really good decisions, and they've got to have a good offensive set here. They really need to settle it down and get something going. It seems like Calvert Hall has had the, game, the ball almost all of the second half. Completely. Oh, they got a, they got a flag down. That's going to be for a slash. Calvert Hall winning the second half, five to nothing. Really has shut down the Spalding offense. This is a free possession for the Cavaliers. 35 seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of time. 6.20 left in the game. Good look inside, and there's a finish. That's P.J. Potness with the finish. A much-needed goal for the Cavaliers. 8-7, 6.15 left in the game. What a, what a great look inside here. Pogness is sitting in the paint. They look inside, and there he is to finish it, and he is a finisher. So this is key now. We've got to see what the penalty was. I believe it was a slash, which is going to mean there's going to be a man-up situation. But we got a mentions Strickland facing off. So this is really going to be critical. Yep, man-up face-off. You'll it, notice it. It must have been a technical, Zim, because it's, there is no, it is not a man-up. So it must have been a technical Good uh, spot there, foul. Coach. Good spot. It's 
Strickland, nope, not yet. No possession called yet. Maybe the biggest ground ball of the game. Coach Phipps holding that time out. I mean, that would have been the time to take one, but he held on to it, and they did a great job. Well, that's Hopper, and he really considers Hopper one of his best players. And when you feel that way about a player, you're going to have confidence and trust that he'll get the job done. Nice job, Coach. <laughs> yeah. Nice job, Hopper. Uh, nice job, Hopper. He's coming into this game with 48 ground balls. There's a flag. That's going to be a loose, maybe, no, not a loose ball. It's going to be a push with possession. Should be a 30-second penalty. So here we'll get a chance to see Sp uh, Spalding's man up and down by one. They really need one here. Jake Wolf shaking it off. Here's the penalty. Oh, yeah, push from behind. I wonder if they could call a cross check on that. They, they could have. Let's see what they got. I think they called it a push. Yep, good call by the official. You know, it wasn't a thrust, uh, vicious check. It was just a push. Uh, good job by the officials making the correct call. A 30-second penalty on Donovan Lewis. Big man up opportunity now for the Cavaliers. Got to take care of the ball. Oh, that's a good look. There that's goal. a great look. Pokeness. P.J. Pokeness, the scoring machine, ties it up at eight. 5.15 left in the game. What a great look. Patience, patience, patience. They worked the ball. A great look downstairs there by Connor Wilbur. Nice job and a nice finish. 8-8, eight, eight, 5.15 left. We'll be back for the conclusion of this one. Stay tuned. Summer is here. And with a new Toyota, you can do all your favorite beach activities, like spike ball. Whitewater rafting, shrimp boils, Ooh. wade fishing, or hanging with the locals. You can say that again. Buy a sporty all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive Camry and get as low as 3.99% APR. Or pick a stylish Corolla sedan or hatchback. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back, 8-8, eight, eight, 5.15 left in the fourth period. We're coming back with the five-star highlight of the game. What do you got, Coach? This is Hoddle coming, everybody paying attention to him. Shuey Kelly sneaks in the back door, and then Hoddle sees him, and it's a layup. A great play, great finish. That's uh, Shuey Kelly's, that was his third of the day, his hat trick. There's two guys right there that have had one heck of a game already and play so well together, Hoddle and Shuey Kelly. They sure do. Excellent teamwork on the offensive end of the field for the Cardinals. 8-8, eight, eight, 515 left. Here we go. Cavaliers facing off a long pole. This is Cook. See if he harasses. Nice job by Strickland escaping that pressure, maintaining possession for the Cardinals. Five minutes to go. Here we go. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Back so. Dugan. This is Shuey Kelly. A little give and go there. Switch, he's got the matchup that he likes. Let's see if they go back to him. Got a shorty. That's no playing shorty there. That's Kaufman. He is tough. Oh, that's a pass. Let's see if the officials oh, are going to call a loose ball push on that. That's going to reset the shot clock to 60. Well, you hate to have those mistakes uh, wow. late in the game. You've got to control yourself there. 422 left. Second chance opportunity for the Cardinals. Here they go, playing a little bit of two-man game, and boy, the attention that Hoddle, Hoddle demands is incredible. It's well-deserved. Dugan with a right-hand shot. He likes his left, but he got his right open, took it, went wide. 42 seconds left on the shot clock. 4.04 left in the contest. We're knotted up at eight. See Hoddle out there directing traffic, telling him where they want to, he wants the ball to go. Going to set up a two-man game. 
This is Mitchell. He's been hot in the second half. Trying to make it hard for Hoddle to get the ball. Absolutely. That's Bruns doing a good job. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, scoops it out of bounds. Turnover, Calvert Hall. Reset the shot clock to 80. 3.37 left in the game. We're not in at eight. Let's see what Spalding can do now on this offensive set. A great job by the defense down there. It's kind of, let's see, we've got a timeout. Let's see who's calling that, Zim. Now they it looks know. like they're waving off. I don't know what they got there. It's really interesting to see when Hoddle couldn't get the ball there. They really kind of panicked a little bit, Calvert Hall did. When they were shutting off, uh, shutting off Hoddle, they wanted the ball to go through him. Plenty of time on the shot clock. This is Wilbur. Howard, back to Wilbur. Wilbur handles the ball a lot, makes good, to smart decisions. Great head, great eyes. This is Mollett. Oh, unforced turnover. It's going the other way. 2.53 left in the game. See what Spalding says. It looks like they're backing up on that ride. They've got to switch some, some middies into the game. They're allowing the goalkeeper and the defenseman to come up. Good find there. I like the way Spalding's riding. They're doing a good job. Just clear the ball in time. Just by a skin. You have to have it on your offensive end when the clock hits 60. They got it there. One second to spare. Man. 220 left in the game. 45 on the shot clock. We're knotted up at eight. Hoddle being, being just shattered by Hopper, and Hopper is so tough. Look at that good first move. Strong drive. Collier. Oh, a nice save that time by Newman. He was right there, saw it all the way. This is a big clearing opportunity now. Critical. For the clear. Cavaliers, critical. Good patience. They stay on side. Want to get that ball in the box. Good timeout yep. call by Coach Phipps. 136 Phipps. left in the game. Chasing the ball down the field was Phipps. <laughs> we'll take that timeout. We're not at an eight. 136 left in the game. Stay tuned. Should be an unbelievable finish. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer summer, like getting ice cream, movie nights, I'll keep it down, hiking with the besties, catching sunsets, or just plain catch. Go long. Buy a RAV4 with special financing as low as 3.99%, or pick a spacious Highlander with as low as 3.49% on select models. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. We're back. See the scoreboard. 8-8. Eight to eight, 136 left in the game. Timeout called by Spalding. They'll have the ball. 61 seconds left on the shot clock. Key timeout there, Zim, by, by Phipps. His pole was coming in and he stepped it in into the box and Phipps got the timeout. And but on both sides of the field right now, this is a really key talk right now. The, with the message that you've got to give to Spalding, in their case, their offense, Calvert Hall, their defense, is critical. Yep, and uh, this is what it's all about, you know, to uh, be in this situation. This is why you play the game. You know, you, as a young kid, you dream of being in a situation like this where it's sudden, you know, it's tied up with uh, less than two minutes to play, and let's see what happens. So what makes the game fun to watch. Here we go. Garza. Oh, good defense that time. He tried to pull it across the front. That was Donovan Lewis. He's had a heck of a game. Good look out front. And there's a shot to score. Wow. Josh Nagy, the senior, heading to Navy. Rips one from 18. Coward Hall up 9-8. 
Well, turn over here at the other end. They had the shorty against the shorty. It was what Spalding wanted, and just great defense there by Lewis. Gets the ball down the field, and Nagy just sets his feet and lets it rip. Terrific play. All started with the turnover. You can't pull the stick in front of you like that. you got to turn your back and protect that stick. All right, 112 left in the game. 9-8, Calvert Hall. Big face-off one that time by the Cavaliers. Big face Have off. to clear the ball. A uh, little panic that time. Yep. Calvert Hall really, they can take the air out of the ball. Don't have to shoot it. 50 seconds. Boy, what a tough one there. Newman looking up the field to try to get it across the midfield line and just threw a bad pass. Newman's coming out of the cage. We'll double the ball. Big ground ball. That was Dugan. Comes up with a huge ground ball for the Cardinals. Less than 30 on the, on the uh, game clock. Newman handling all kinds of pressure. They're going to give Calvert Hall the timeout. Wow. It's a great call by Coach Kelly. 16.8 wow. seconds left in the game. Cardinals have a one-goal lead. What a timeout, man. I think you got that timeout in the backswing. It's a big part of coaching. You know, you got to coach the fundamentals in practice. You got to do wow. a lot of stuff, but on game day, how you manage the game can really make the difference between winning and losing. I think both coaches have done a nice job uh, in this second half calling timeouts. All right, we're going to take a look at the Lids player of the game. Wyatt Hoddle. Wow, and what, a, and what a game he had. I have him down for a hat trick. He had the first three goals of the game for Calvert Hall. He had four assists coming out of halftime. I have him down for seven points today, and what a game he played. And he really, you could tell, when he didn't get the ball or when they couldn't get the ball to him, Calvert Hall just kind of stalled. They needed the ball to go through Hoddle, and you saw when he had the ball, Spalding had to pay so much attention to him, and they got a lot of backdoor opportunities because of his, his uh, you know, the potential that he has. The Syracuse bound player, I tell you, he um, he's shown a lot of not only talent but poise and leadership, and uh, you know that's what you expect from uh, you know a senior attackman who uh, is headed to a big time program like Syracuse. And you, and you look at the guys he's playing with too, and specifically Shuey Kelly. You know those guys just play so well together. They seem to know where each other is on the. They are on the field, and uh, you know between the two of them, they have over 100 points together uh, on the season. So 16.8 seconds, 16 left to go. It uh, you know really just kind of killing the, the ball here. Who do they give it to? So, oh, they're going to throw a flag there. That's going to be the ball game. You know, Hoddle tried to get one more out of it. Drew the penalty, but, you know, I think it would have been a better situation if, uh, you know, he just runs the daylight and, and runs out the clock. But uh, you can't take anything away from number one in red. Just a tremendous game. Great job. And I'll tell you, what a great game to see. This is this was really two good teams fighting. And, and you know, guys are, they have some injuries. Both of them do. But I'm really impressed with the Spalding team. I thought they showed up really well today and, and played their hearts out and scrapped after, after every ball, every loose ball, and, and everything they could do to win this game. I agree. You know, for a young team, I know it's disappointing that they're not going to win this game, but they showed a lot of heart, courage, and determination. And that's what Coach Fitz is looking for from this uh, group, uh, not only to finish out this season, but for the future. Just a really, really uh, gutsy effort by the Cavaliers. And Calvert Hall, you know, they, uh, they came in, obviously the, uh, the favored team had a slow start, but they've come back and really won a, a tough ball game uh, against this scrappy uh, Cavalier team. They have been really great players. They've got some great players on that team. A well-deserved shout-out to our technical crew for the outstanding work in bringing you today's game. It was a good one. Make sure you tune in next Tuesday, May 9th, for our next MIAA Game of the Week featuring the Severn School Admirals hosting the St. Mary's High School Saints. Should be a good one, a neighborhood rival. Opening face-off is set for 4 p.m. For John Lehman, I'm Don Zimmerman. 
Thanks for watching this MIAA Game of the Week. Once again, our final score, Calvert Hall 9, Archbishop Spalding 8. You saw a good one today. Hope to see you next week. Have a great evening, and thanks for joining us.